Hello, agentpreneurs, and welcome to episode 66 of the Daily List Report. Today, we've got a familiar face coming on the show, my partner in crime at List Reports, AJ Shaw. He hasn't been on for a few weeks. That's because he's been off thinking about the future of this business. So today, we're going to talk about how we're continuing to innovate on products, given what's going on with COVID, what's happening in the market, sort of where we're headed. So you're not going to want to miss this. In the meantime, since you're here on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We've got a couple thousand of you now following us and subscribed, getting access to all of this amazing content, so make, you, make sure you do that. All right, without further ado, what I'm going to do is bring on AJ. AJ, say hello again to our agentpreneurs. Hello, agentpreneurs. How are you this morning? Beautiful. I'll speak on their behalf and I'll say that they are doing fantastic because of guests like you and all of the amazing stuff that we get to talk about on this show. So, H, thanks for your time today. That's absolutely my pleasure and my joy to be on the show. And by the way, Randy, we're filming this on Sunday morning. And uh, we are Sunday the 28th. It is. And is there is there anything significant about this day? Um. I can't think of a single okay. thing, AJ. Well, he's too humble, but it is his birthday today. So wish you a very, very happy birthday. My friend, my business partner, uh, we've known each other for over 20 years. Um, you are 26 days older than me. So, you know. We've got you, fact checkers on the show, AJ. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not true, but we are pretty darn close. So. Thank you, AJ, for that. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, happy um, to be doing what I love, even on my birthday, which is exactly what we're doing right here. And Randy, how did we celebrate your birthday on Friday? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I, maybe I can get a clip of that in here. I was meeting with AJ and my team with masks on and socially distant, um, surprised me with a water balloon attack. So I walked out the Ambush. door. AJ, it was real. It was an ambush. It was an ambush. That's a very good point. AJ walked me out the door and he said, hey, let's take a walk. And I opened the door and I got completely bombarded. So um, I'll see if I can find some good footage of that. But it was a great, great day. And I hadn't seen the team, AJ, you too, in a very long time because we've all been in quarantine. And so it was it's really never, nice to see everybody. You can never be too old for a, a water balloon. Right. Oh, it definitely proved that. You can never be too old for a water balloon fight. That's exactly true. <laughs> All right. Um, that was wonderful. Yeah. Um, H, so, you know, as we get into the topic today, right, you come on the show and we get to talk a little bit about where we're headed as a business and where we yeah. see the world going. And I think that's pretty exciting. And it's been a few weeks since you've been on. And so, you know, why don't we just kick it off this way? COVID is still around. It hasn't gone away. In fact, 48 of the 50 states are increasing right now, not decreasing. So this is not going away anytime soon. So talk a little bit about how you think about that in the context as a backdrop to kind of what we're working on. Yeah. Well, um, I, I think a couple of things. Number one, with COVID and all that's going on, expect tremendous volatility. I think what's going to happen is because real estate is a market, and when inventory uh, declines, prices go up and that starts to create demand on the buy side. And then when demand starts to grow on the buy side, sellers are like, hey, this looks interesting. And so they start to re-enter the market. And then yes. it's, 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 but all of that stuff that is normal that happens over time is gonna happen at record speed. So you're gonna get these peaks and troughs that are really zigzaggy, right? Like up and down, up and down, up and down. And so it's going to be a very confusing thing. Also, because coronavirus isn't universal, like in terms of its penetration in every state and every region, you're going to see all these uh, peaks and troughs happening all over the country at different times. So it's going to be very, very volatile. Um, it's going to be a continued uncertainty. That That's the one thing I can absolutely tell you is that, it, you know, if someone's telling you we're, you know, smooth sailing and, and we're out of this or they know the future, they do not know the future. There are too many variables that are as yet unknown in terms of how this plays out for anybody to know the future. So a prudent place for our agents to play is be conservative, uh, con uh, control your cash, your cash flow, your cash spend, cash burn. Um, by the way, Randy, it'd be good to maybe have Omri on again to talk about cash flow and managing that um, uh, topic as well. So our, our head of finance, 
You yeah, talk- real quick. And for those of you who've, who've seen him on the show, Omri, again, is our head of finance, as AJ mentioned, and he's been the one talking about the PPP um, and how to get it, you know, how to get forgiveness and all of that. So those, AJ, I think you know, have been some of our most popular episodes. So it's a great idea to have him back on to talk about actually how to manage your cash flow. Great idea. Absolutely. Yes. So uh, in, in any event, that's, that's going on. And that's the backdrop of very likely the backdrop of 2021. Um, mm-hmm. And that's where we find ourselves in the real estate industry today. It's had a significant impact on our business uh, because as everything's going on, interest rates have fallen. Our primary customers in terms of the paying customers are loan officers. So th- their businesses, they've been heavy in the refi. Now purchase is coming back. And it's just crazy for us you know, to, to manage through these cycles. So we feel it just as much as I'm sure you do. Yes. And um, and so we're going to go through this together. But we we have the opportunity, as you said, Randy, to sort of step back, talk to a lot of experts, see what the world is saying that's going on out there, and then maybe hopefully boiling some of those insights back to you in terms of actionable steps. Yeah. No, I think that makes a lot of sense, AJ. And you know, I think it's true for us that because of the uncertainty, we've had to place a couple bets, right? So we talked about. LR Live, which hopefully all of you are using, which is a free conference room for you. But a nice extension of that was the virtual open house. And we've been talking about that, you know, for the last couple months. And we're now about ready to actually roll that out. And that's certainly going to be a viable option for a lot of you. So AJ, how do you think about, you know, the bets that we're making and things like LR Live or the virtual open house? And then we'll get into sort of how we see the future of home buying. Well, there are two things we learned from the virtual open house experience. Number one, uh, the lead generation aspect of virtual open houses is far more effective in terms of a recorded asset than one that you stream live. So the number of people you can attract at 12 o'clock on a Saturday or random Tuesday uh, to go see your open house uh, virtually is pretty limited. The number of people who will see it after the fact, because you'll have this asset that you can distribute on social media and promote, is much, much greater than that, maybe 10 to 20 times as many people. And so this is really important because what it means is that even our initial bet, which was, hey, we'll we'll give you something where you can schedule a way to do a virtual open house and then invite people to it. All that functionality is in there and we're gonna be releasing that. But I think that's actually the side case. What is the more predominant and more important case for lead generation and getting exposure to your open house is giving you the ability to produce a really high quality asset that you can distribute to anybody and promote online and so on um, all through through one medium, right? So that's one thing that we're um, we're working on in terms of virtual open house. The second one is I, I, I'm sure many of you have heard about that tragic assault that happened at an open house recently. Yeah. Um, it's terrible that these things happen. Um, it did happen. You know, open houses are generally safe, but they do have um, the ability to get dangerous. And I know that two thirds of real estate agents in this country are women um, and are more prone to assault. And so uh, we want you to be safe. A virtual open house may not provide everything that a a traditional open house provides, but hopefully can get you uh, well on the way there in terms of being able to both showcase the house the benefits of the house, as well as get the lead generation that open houses are so crucial for. So we're going to definitely be still advocating for the virtual open house, and we're going to be opening that up to a much larger uh, platform of users in the near future here. Absolutely. No, I think that's that's great, AJ. You know, transitioning a little bit, right, into a nice little product that we call List Packs. So I pulled this, a List Pack up on the screen right here. And so for most of you watching, hopefully by now you're familiar with this. If you're not We'll link to some of the episodes where we went into great detail around how to generate a list pack. But a list pack, as it says in the name, is a pack of listings. And I'm just clicking through to show the interface here where, you know, you can easily look at a package of homes that meet a certain level of criteria. That criteria could be price, it could be location, it could be homes with pools and so on and so forth. And so these list packs are really easy to share, really easy to put out into the market. And AJ, we've spent, you know, I guess, gosh, the last couple of weeks really learning a lot about the efficacy of list packs and getting some qualitative feedback as well. So 
Talk a little bit about list packs and what it means for our users today, but sort of also what it means as we kind of transition into the next phase of it. Absolutely. So we, we are really betting our future as a company on the idea of list packs. And why is that the case? Uh, list packs are this extremely powerful way to distribute listings. And so this is important for listing agents. This is important for buyer's agents. Buyer's agents for the first time really have, I think, one of the most powerful ways to have content that they can distribute online um, and uh, obviously to, to their potential buyers and clients uh, that are listings. And you know, for the longest time, buyer's agents have had a significant disadvantage, which is that they didn't control the inventory. Mm -hmm. so there was really no way for them to, to have a promotable asset that they could distribute out. List packs are that, right? If you're a buyer agent, if you're doing 60, 70% buy side and you're not using list packs, that's um, something I'd seriously ask you to reconsider because um, we just recently did a survey and we, how many responses we got over a thousand responses, over a thousand responses. Yeah. So over a thousand agent entrepreneurs who are, who have used list packs actually got back to us. And what they told us was um, number one, list packs are, are very, very effective at keeping them top of mind in terms of their sphere of influence. And they can do that simply by picking list packs and distributing them online. Um, and it's a very, very easy thing to do. Number two, they told us that uh, list packs have actually been a very good source of lead gen. Not necessarily the first list pack that they send out there. So don't expect to just put out a, lead, a list pack yes. and suddenly you get leads. But as you start to do this on a regular basis, you're going to start to see that people comment on these list packs. If you're actively engaged in that comment flow, you're going to start to see um, that this is an opportunity to pick up some low-hanging fruit in terms of leads on your system. There's also a lead form inside the list packs, something that we're going to work on improving, actually. It's not not my favorite. I, I think not our favorite yet in yes. terms of how to produce leads, but it works, and people are getting leads from it. I think about 1% of the people who land on the list pack consumers end up um, producing a lead. So something like that uh, around that ratio, which is Correct. not bad actually from a lead perspective. Um, so it, it will do this over time. If you just keep on putting them out there in the market, we hopefully provide you enough variety in terms of the content that you can mix it up. And of course, very importantly, you can create your own custom list packs. So you don't have to rely on the categories that we give you. Absolutely. One of hey, the things real quick, let me just interject sure. one thing there real quick, which Go is, ahead. um, to, to the point, you know, most of the people who were sharing list packs, not with a specific buyer, right, but just to kind of have a presence on social media, you know, their expectation was that they just wanted to stay top of mind. They wanted to stay relevant. And and I have um, I have it up on the screen here, AJ, because I just want to really make this point is that with our live list packs and those are list packs of listings that are always updated. So if there's new properties that meet the criteria of a single level home or a home with a view, for example, it's always going to be updated. But what we did was we we made this sort of follow our shareables model. So many of you are sharing shareables. You can click on a list pack. You can click on share on Facebook and we've given you the copy and it's done. It's out there, right? So we've made it really easy to stay kind of top in mind and front and center. And to AJ's point, it's it might not be the first time, it might not be the second time, but you know, it takes you about 20 seconds to do this. <clears throat> this is a, a behavior that you can habituate into your own marketing and brand building efforts. So AJ, go ahead, but I just wanted to pull that up and show that real quick. Thank you for doing that. No, absolutely, that's the case. Now, Randy, uh, so the feedback we got from the list pack surveys um, was overwhelmingly, you know, positive. Yes. I think the one area that we failed people on was that they, uh, a lot of people said they didn't like the quality of the data. And lots yes. of times it was things out of our control. They would have a home with pools, but it would have a home that didn't have a pool. And that's simply because the, the listing agent didn't mark the MLS listing properly. Uh, they wanted some more control over their market areas so that the filters on the neighborhood data that came in Correct. were more powerful. So what we did actually on this feedback is we actually created a, a crack sort of SWAT team for ourselves here in terms of a, a team that can go smack down all of these data issues. So if you're using anything um, on our system and in particular list packs and you're starting to experience data issues, know this, that if you report that to us, that's going to go to the top of the queue. It actually gets seen by myself, Randy, our other uh, uh, co-founders and, and executives. 
And that becomes the highest priority item for us in the company. We are committed to making sure that nationwide, the data that we put out there is something that you can absolutely rely on. And as you can imagine, because it's garbage in, garbage out, that means if, if the listing agent doesn't give us the right data, we're also subject to you know, some of the quality issues there. Um, we're gonna actually go above and beyond in terms of trying to figure out how we can double check their work and remark listings that uh, maybe were improperly marked and so on. So we're trying to figure all this out. Know that this is the most important thing. So if you're starting to see anything that you think is a data quality issue, we need to know about it right away. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Uh, so well, just go talk ahead, H. I'm sorry. And then, I, then I want to talk about why list packs are the future. But but yeah. if you want to talk about the data. No, just uh, just to put a pin in that. Um, I'm I'm glad you brought that up, AJ. And and the point I think you made very clear. But just just so everybody understands, like we are committed to whatever it takes, right? So whatever it takes to make sure that this data is not only perfect, but we go above and beyond in terms of the ways that you can find homes and you can really aid your buyers and your sellers in discovering the right properties for them. That's our commitment to you. And so as AJ said, if you see any issues, send an email into support at listreports.com. Let us know. We have assembled a brand new team that is going to be focused purely on this. And the more data that we get about any particular issues or errors, we can jump on those. We can fix them and make them right for you. So AJ, go ahead. Awesome. Yeah. So Here's the cool part though. List packs to us, the reason that we think they're the future for us is because of their versatility, right? We know that they're fantastic to keep you top of mind with your sphere of influence. We know that they're useful for both listing agents and buyer agents in whatever modality that you're working in. We know that they are actually one of the most effective ways to do lead gen. So we're gonna be working with you on, on creating paid campaigns that you could do through like Facebook and Instagram and Google over time that are automated and bundled into the solution. We know that list packs are a very natural way to get somebody from a lead into a lead nurture status where if they're potentially an active buyer, we should put them into a whole shopping experience. Not Zillow, not Redfin, not Realtor, but your own shopping experience right and so this is something that we're going to be releasing pretty soon actually where you can go straight from a list pack to having the buyer live in an active buyer experience and um and keep that lead and know all the things that that lead is doing um, in the context of your system right so this is really cool this is really important so i uh, we think that you know you you'll be able to control the process from end to end from top of the funnel all the way through close, and in fact, even post-close over time. So this is our vision for how we can make buying and selling a home a truly delightful experience. And you'll see these pieces come together in the next few months. The one thing you can do right now is if you have not already partnered with a loan officer on the system um, to, to be uh, your paired loan officer, do that because all these systems and solutions that we are building rely on you having a loan officer to work with you. We think that the data that the loan officer provides in terms of mortgage calculations and pre-qualifications need to be integrated into the purchase experience. And so uh, we, we wanna make sure that you're partnering with your, uh, your favorite loan officers as well. Absolutely. And, you know, we had um, Alec Hansen on last week, AJ, and that was one of the things that he was talking about, right? Is just the potential power that exists in the relationship between an agent and the loan officer, and frankly, what an agent's expectation should be of the loan officer in their own business. And so it's tools like this that I think are going to be very helpful. Um, yeah. You know, yeah, as we... I've been saying, Randy, yeah. that when we get the full set together over the next few months between virtual open houses and the power of list packs all the way through the nurture process, that we will have agents in this country who strictly build their entire business on this particular product set. Yes. Uh, and so we're, we're going to show you how to do that. But you know, if, if, if that's what you want to do and you want to really invest in the list packs platform, we're going to give you the ways to do that. Um, and you'll be able to, to, to actually create a really robust, um, agentpreneur business strictly off of this, this products, uh, set. 
Absolutely. I think that's completely true. And I think for all of you listening right now, if any of you haven't tried list packs, right, I think your your job right now is to go try it, to adopt it, to help give us feedback on it so that we can learn and we can make it better. As AJ said, this is an area that we are focused on as a company, and this is just the beginning. But giving you easy ways to take packages of listings and share them out on social media to stay relevant and top of mind, to be able to curate and find very specific listings to send to a particular buyer to be relevant during the home search, and then everything that's going to come behind that, which, as AJ said, is not Zillow, it's not Redfin, right? This is an opportunity for you to keep your buyers into an ecosystem that is uniquely yours, and it gives them, frankly, some really powerful tools. And AJ, that reminds me actually, and, and let's just make this point quickly because I think it's really important. Um, a long time ago now, right, you and I sat in a conference room you know, with a whiteboard and we asked ourselves a simple question. And I wonder if, if anybody listening has thought about this. We said, what do some of these big portals want us to do? What do they want a consumer to do? Why do they exist, right? So we looked at Zillow, we looked at Redfin, we looked at all of these sites and we said, what does this want somebody to do? And maybe elaborate on this, I'll, I'll get to the punchline, right? Which was, in our estimation, none of them existed for a serious home buyer. So maybe just elaborate a little bit on that, if you don't mind, AJ, because I think it's important for people to understand our why and where we're headed with this. Well, it, we were actually kind of shocked. As I would say you and I were pretty frequent and are pretty frequent users of things like Redfin yes. and Zillow, right? And when we thought about it as, okay, as a serious home buyer, what tools and expectations would I have of this thing? Um, with all of the money that they have and all the resources that they have, it's really shocking how much these services are not about the serious home buyer. They're really about the looky loo where they want to capture as big a funnel of potential buyers as possible and then get one of them to basically fill out a lead form that they can sell to six agents, basically, right? right. That, that's what they want to do. And it's a good business model for them. So that's great. Of course, we all know that's not a good business model for real estate agents, right? That they're, they're trying that's to right. steal your business in kind of the worst of ways. Um, so, um, you know, that there's the conflict, there's the inherent conflict, but you can see when you go through these websites, how smartly they're set up to just sort of capture people in the generic search for homes, not because they're serious home buyers now, because nobody's really come up with the platform for serious home buyers. This is all we have in the market anyway, right? Mm -hmm. And so this is our opportunity where we're saying, no, actually, there's a whole bunch of things that a serious solution ha should have. It should have much better ways to organize your listings as a home buyer much easier ways to communicate with the people that matter, like your real estate agent, potentially a loan officer, and maybe even your escrow officer and so on. Um, much better uh, uh, co continuity between you and the other people who might be part of that search, like a spouse, for example, and how you can communicate and organize around that. All these things are like not very well developed in these tools. They're search engine optimized, so they they uh, track very well on Google, but they're not really for the consumer who seriously wants this stuff. And so when we did our own research, we're like, how as a consumer do you actually keep track of this? And what do they say? Well, we pull up a Microsoft Excel sheet or a Google sheet, and we That's start right. writing down the homes we want and characteristics. And we're like, why is this so divorced from the process? of a home purchase. Why aren't these tools really integrated in the home buying experience? Those are the things that we're going to try to uh, address and put in the hands of a real estate agent exclusively so yes. that if an agent, if a consumer wants the best tools in the market, they're going to have to work with, with a real estate agent. And that's how we're going to defend this population here of agentpreneurs is we're going to give them the best tools for serious home buyers. And that, that's the key, right? That has always been our mission. That has always been our vision is to make sure that we're empowering our agentpreneurs with tools like this. And, you know, to make the, the point even further, maybe more stark, is that, you know, Zillow and Truly have ballpark 165 million monthly uniques who kind of traverse the universe of websites that they have. And yet, as all of you know out there, there's you know roughly 5 million pre-existing homes sold every year, right? So to your point, AJ, there's a lot of looky losing people way up in the funnel, and it necessitates a tool that works at that level, which is, 
hey, check out these celebrity homes or whatever the tactics are, right, to kind of keep you looking. And what we're saying is that there's a set of tools that we believe should exist for a serious home buyer that really handles a lot of the complexity and the challenges. AJ, if you recall, when we did some survey work on this a long time ago, you know, the buying a home should be the most exciting thing. It should be yeah. such an exciting moment. And yet in the first 30 days, the level of satisfaction that somebody has for the home search just plummets and they are yeah. defeated and they don't understand what's going on. And it's stressful and it's all of those things. And that's what we're thinking about building those types of tools to empower you and your buyers to make sure that it is in fact a delightful experience. That's right. I mean, I think there's so much opportunity here to, to grow. So here's what are we asking agents? Because we have nothing to offer them today in terms of, of this kind of solution that we're working on. Mm -hmm. Here's what you can do today. Get to learn list packs really well, because yes. that's going to be the anchor product for everything else that we're doing. Um, it's going to be a fantastic tool for retention and engagement for you. It's the tool that, you know, frankly, you know, MLS tear sheets are great in that they, they serve a very important purpose. But if you're going to send somebody an MLS tear sheet, why don't you send them a nice list pack instead that's more beautiful, that's based on the same MLS data, but makes you look more like a, like a consumer pro, right? Like, like an expert and a professional and aesthetically you know, people matter. I mean, like this, this yes. stuff matters in terms of how it looks. Consumers grade you on the quality of the, of the assets that you provide them. They really do. It's unfair to some degree, but they do. They do. Life, they life, do. Right. So, so we're giving you a tool that is as consumer grade quality as anything else that they'll use. And you have access to this tool for free. Like yeah. it's, it's available Today, right now. Yep. Morning. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Anyway, just start to use this stuff now. Get really familiar with it. Uh, it's going to be the basis and the foundation for almost everything that List Reports does in the future. It's going to be a big, bold, bright future, and it's going to change the way that buyers actually buy homes and ultimately how sellers list homes. Absolutely. AJ, well said. Um, thanks for coming back on. Uh, we'll have you back on hopefully next Monday, and we'll continue to talk about this stuff. For those of you who are, are watching, you know, comment on this. Give us some feedback. Um, and again, start using list packs, right? Jump in, use it. It's available to you right now. Make sure you pair with a loan officer. Start mobilizing these listings and understanding it. Give us feedback so we can continue to improve on it because this is a huge focus for us. So, AJ. Yeah, one more oh, thing. Please. please. Uh, you know, if you're interested in helping us shape the future of the buying experience, in the comments, just even put the word sneak peek or something like that, and we'll try to reach out to you and and give you a sneak peek and get your feedback on it because we have a vision for what this thing should look like. There are a lot of nuanced, precise decisions that we have to make along the way, and I'm sure you have a lot of insight for us. So we're happy to talk to you if you Absolutely. think that you have some unique interest or insight into the next generation of buying experiences. That's fantastic. That's a great point, AJ. All right, AJ, thank you so much for joining us today and for sharing all those thoughts. All right, entrepreneurs, have a great one and keep at it. We'll see you soon, AJ. Thanks. Bye. Awesome. So there you have it, right? So we've got list packs. It's available right there in the product. Um, left hand side, you see list packs here. Click on the link. Um, start to explore this. Uh, we will link to some of the episodes that we've done previously that give a nice overview and a tour of this. We've got your live list packs. Live list packs are always updated. You can put them out on social media. You can send them to buyers. We've got property search just as of two weeks ago, which allows you to actually search and find very specific properties that you might want to send to a particular buyer. So go get after it. Go use that product. And until tomorrow, be safe, be healthy, be happy, and we'll see you soon.